Hello friends, good morning. And today we are going to learn about the hybridization. So basically hybridization is determined with the help of a steric number. And the steric number is the number of sigma bond plus lone pair of electron. So basically you have to find the number of sigma bond that are found by the central atom as well as the number of lone pair of electron present on that central atom. And if the steric number is 2, then the hybridization of the central atom will be sp. If this is 3, then hybridization will be sp2. If this is 4, then hybridization will be sp3. If this will be 5, then the hybridization will be sp3d. If it will be 6, then it will be sp3d2. And 7, then it will be sp3d3. So, now let's proceed further and find out the hybridization of the various molecules. So, first is I3 minus. So, first we have to just draw the Lipstadt structure of I3 minus. As we know that this is a linear molecule. And in the central atom, there are three lone pair of electrons. And there is negative charge on it. So, we see here that the central atom is forming two sigma bond. This is one sigma bond and this is second sigma bond. And it has three lone pair of electron, one, two, and three. So the steric number will be equal to number of sigma bond formed by the central atom, that is two, plus number of lone pair, that is three, and that will be equal to five. And if the steric number is five, then the hybridization will be sp3d. Now come to the next one, this is the azide ion. And the Lewis daughter structure of a giant ion will be this one. This is the Lewis daughter structure. If you find the number of sigma bond on the central atom that is forming, that is one sigma bond and one sigma bond, that is two. And the lone pair, there is not a single lone pair present on that central atom, so lone pair is zero. So steric number is two. And the hybridization will be sp. So this will be linear molecule where the bond angle will be 180 degree. Now let's see Bf4 minus that is tetrafluoroborate and the structure is like this. This is the structure of it. This is tetrahedral structure and negative charge on this. So first we have to find the number of sigma bond. So there is four sigma bond formed by this boron atom so the number of sigma bond is four and the lone pair there is no any lone pair on this boron molecule so this will be equal to four and the hybridization will be sp3 in that case so bf3 is generally not very stable because its octet is not complete but it reacts with f minus to form bf4 minus and that is stable so the hybridization changes from bf3 that is sp2 and in bf4 minus this is sp3 now the next one is ammonium ion and let's draw the structure of ammonium ion bf4 minus and ammonium ion both will be isostructural so the structure is same as the feet and a structure is tetrahedral for the both cases now here we see that this is a sigma bond, this is also a sigma bond, this is also a sigma bond, this is also a sigma bond. So nitrogen is forming four sigma bond with zero lone pair. There is no any lone pair on the central atom. So nitrogen has just used its lone pair in forming the fourth bond. So lone pair is zero and the steric number is four. And in this case, hybridization will be sp3. Now let's solve for the ClF3. Then the Lewis total structure will be like that. Chlorine has outermost electron of 7, so it will form 3 sigma bond here, and there will be 2 lone pair, so this will be 2 lone pair. So total number of sigma bond in this case will be, this is 1 sigma, sigma and 1 sigma, and there is 2 lone pair, so 3 plus 2, the steric number is 5. And in this case, hybridization will be sp3d. Now let's find the hybridization of phosphorus in phosphate ion. And this is phosphate ion and the structure is P double bond O. O negative, O negative and O negative. So this is the anion obtained from the phosphoric acid. And in this case, we see that phosphorus is making 4 
sigma bond. This is four sigma bond, and the outermost electron on the phosphorus is five. So all the electrons has been used in the bonding. So no lone pair of electron is left on the phosphorus. So the number of sigma bond is four. That is four plus lone pair of electron on phosphorus is zero. So steric number is four. And in this case, hybridization will be sp3. So this is also tetrahedral structure. And the hybridization is sp3. And in fact, all the bond length, PO bond length is same due to resonance. Now, let's find the hybridization of genon in pergenate anion. So this is pergenate. So genon has total eight electron of eight, that is outermost electron is eight. So these are the eight electrons of genon. And it is forming bonds with six oxygens and there is four minus. So four oxygen will attach with a single bond. So these are the four oxygen attached with a single bond. And two oxygen will be attached with double bond. So this is the structure of pergenate anion. And now let's find the hybridization. So the sigma bond is total number of sigma bonds is six. So genon is forming six sigma bond. And there is not a lone pair, single lone pair present on this. There is no any lone pair present on genon because all the eight electrons has been used in the hybridization. So in forming bond, so the steric number is six and the hybridization will be sp3 d2 in this case. The next molecule is XeOF2 and let's draw the structure of it. So it, genon has eight electron, outermost eight electron and it is forming a bond with oxygen so the bond will be double bond and there are two fluorine so these are the two fluorine attached with it so zero has two lone pair of electron left on it so the total number of sigma bond will be one sigma one sigma and one sigma so the total number of sigma bond is three and the lone pair of the electron on genome is two so this is two lone pair of electron so the steric number will be five and in this case the hybridization will be sp3 d so now let's see for IF6+, plus, this is a polyhalogen anion, sorry, cation, and the structure will be like that. Iodine has total outermost electron of 7, so this is the 7 electron, and it is forming 6 bond with fluorine, so there are 6 fluorine attached with this iodine, okay. and there is positive charge, so this electron has been lost by it, so this has been lost by it and there is positive charge appearing on the iodine now let's find the steric number and there are six sigma bond one two three four five and six plus there is no any lone pair on the of electron on the iodine atom so this is zero and the steric number is sp sorry six so the hybridization will be sp3 d2 so now let's see if six minus so again iodine has outermost electron of 7 so it will form 6 bond by using 6 electrons 6 valence electron with the fluorine and there is one electron left but there is negative charge so one extra electron should be given to iodine and there should be one lone pair on this atom so the total number of sigma bond in this case is 6 and lone pair of electron on central atom that is 1 so the steric number is 3 sorry 7 and the hybridization will be sp3 d3 in this case so now let's see sf6 that is sulfur hexafluoride and let's draw the structure of the sulfur has outermost electron that is six and it will form six bond with the fluorine by using all its valence electron so these are the six bond so no lone pair of electron will be left on the sulfur so the steric number in this case is 6 sigma bond plus 0 lone pair that is 6 and the hybridization will be sp 3 d 2 in this case. Now let's see BRF5 bromine pentafluoride and the structure of this will be bromine has outermost electron of 7 so this is a halogen and it is forming 5 bonds so this is first bond this is second this is third this is fourth one and this is fifth one so there will be one lone pair of electron left on it so the steric number the number of sigma bond that is 5 plus lone pair is 6 1 so the steric number will be equal to 6 and again the hybridization will be sp3d2 now let's see per perchlorate anion and this is the clo4 minus perchlorate anion and chlorine has outermost electron of 7 
and it is forming bonds with four oxygen. So there is one negative charge. So one oxygen will be attached with a single bond. So there will be three lone pair of electron in this oxygen. And the rest of the oxygen will be attached with a double bond using double bond. So this is the perchlorate anion. And we see that all the electrons, valence electrons have been utilized in the bonding. So there is no lone pair of electron left on this chlorine atom. So the number of sigma bond is one sigma, one sigma, and one sigma, and one sigma. So number of sigma bond is four, and lone pair of electron on the central atom that is chlorine is zero. And in this case, the steric number will be four, and the hybridization will be sp3. So now let's see the POCl3, that is the phosphorine chloride. And phosphorus have outermost electron of five. So these are the five electrons, that is the valence electron. And it is forming one bond with the oxygen and three bond with the chlorine. So oxygen is generally formed using double bond and this will be the chlorine. So it will form here a single bond. And now let's the, find out the steric number. So all the electrons of the phosphorus valence electron have been used in the bonding. So no lone pair is left on the phosphorus in this case. There is no lone pair. So in this case, the number of sigma bond will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. The pi bond, there is one pi bond and one sigma bond in double bonds. One is Albert sigma and the other will be pi. So we have to count here only sigma bond in the steric number. So the number of sigma bond is 4 and the lone pair present on phosphorus is 0 and that is the 4. So hybridization will be ASP3 in that case. Now let's see the chlorate ion ClO3 minus. So first draw the structure of this. Chlorine has outermost of 7 electron. So there is one negative charge. So one oxygen will be attached with a single bond. So one oxygen will be attached with using sigma bond. And there will be three lone pair present on it. And the rest two will be attached by using double bond. So these are the rest two. And the lone pair left is one. So in this case, there are one sigma bond, one sigma bond, and one sigma bond. So there is three sigma bond plus one lone pair of electrons so the steric number is four and the hybridization will be sp3 in that case so that's the end of the lecture i hope you enjoy it thank you